choking Joking that I'm just a day away just point out that he, he doesn't practice that um, and we haven't done that since February so I thought he did very well 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, this song is about a weird sea creature called the hagfish. It's an uh, odd creature. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail tonight, but there is some audience participation. And the chorus is going to go like this. It's the hagfish. And you lovely people will hopefully respond with... What's he like? And then we'll tell you. Should we have a little go at that? Good, two people are into it. That's a good start. Here we go. <laughs> it's the hagfish. <laughs> Excellent. Now that'll do. That's very good. Here we go. This is the hagfish. <laughs> This next one is uh, our love song about our good friend, Wayne.
Uh, this is a song, a new song, that he has written. And uh, is there anyone out there? Oh, yes, hello there. And anyway, um, it's about uh, photographs and bands and the way that bands always look very moody in their band photos, as Cheryl will tell you. Cheryl here will tell you about all the moody bands that she has photographed going like this. And that's what this song is about. And this song is called Moody Band Photo. And it's about a chicken. It's about a particular chicken. Yeah, fans of chickens here. That's quality. Has anyone here eaten any chicken tonight? There's been lots on the menu. Here he is. We have our um, special guest with us, Mike, here, who is, as you can tell, he's a transspecial duck. He's actually a chicken in a duck's body. Got his mask on. He's, yeah, he's c uh, conforming to COVID here. <laughs> so anyway, this, um, this particular family in this town in America were going to have chicken for dinner, so they took a chicken out into the garden, cut off its head, as you do, as you should. If you eat chicken, you should cut off your own chicken's head, of course. And um, it survived, as chickens can. Sometimes they run around for a few minutes, five minutes perhaps, but Mike ran around for somewhere between a year and a half and two years and became a sideshow exhibit. 
And uh, this is about Mike, the chicken. in America. That's Mike, the chicken, but he's got no head. That's Mike. right, someone say that he's better off there. That's, That's right, it's chicken, but he's got no head. The foul, he's really well bred. That's Mike. They brought an axe down on his head, but they couldn't break the cockerel all dead. Chuck him, didn't cut him clean. It weren't a good strike, do you know what I mean? The jugular didn't split, it left some brain stem attached to it. For some weird reason, did more than survive. For some weird reason, the cockerel didn't thrive. This is chicken, but he's got no head. That's right, right. someone say that he's better off dead. That's, That's Mike, he's a chicken, but he's got no head. The foul, he's really well bred. That's Mike. He went on tour in a carnival show if he wanted to die. And away he goes! 25 cents each for a piece. He threw the crowds a week after week for the coming out. The big start doing it on purpose. It ain't so smart. All of them ended up dead. The mice were on weight. He was really well fed. Mike! He's a chicken, but he's got no head. That's, That's right. Some will say that he's better off dead. That's Mike! He's a chicken, but he's got no head. The foul! He's really well fed. That's Mike! He's got no head, that's, that's right. Some will say that he's better off dead. That's, that's Mike. Mike. He's chicken, but he's got no head. The foul. He's really well fed. That's Mike. Fed by a chopper in his Gregory pet. When seen by people, they cry. Oh, oh heck. It's Mike for two years. This is doing eight. Eventually, him and his mate are dying. He's died of choke, and the eye dropper had been lost by the owner broke. The headless cockle could have been his throat, and in the end, the poor bugger croaked. Mike. He's chicken, but he's got no head. That's, that's right. right. Some will say that he's better off dead. That's, that's Mike. Mike. Got no head, that's why some will say that he's better off dead. That's Mike, he's a chicken, but he's got no head. Foul! He's really well bred, that's Mike. Fucking hell. <laughs> that was a double speed, Mike. <laughs> we haven't played that one for a while. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is called uh, Roy the Whippet Man. Is anyone here called Roy? Is it? Anyone here called Whippet? Is there anyone here who can shout out the word Roy really loudly? Because uh, there's going to be four Roy's in this, and the third Roy, we need you to shout it out, you see, because Nigel uh, has got, got very, very... He's mute. He's a mute, Nigel is, so... There's only three of us doing the vocals. So if you could shout out the word Roy, you'll hear four Roy's. On the third Roy, you shout out Roy. That'd be really good. Thank you very much. It's, it's di too difficult to practice, so here we go. <laughs> Roy, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do that again. Almost. <laughs> Wicked 
everybody for joining in. Thank you. We should perhaps point out that that's on our CD, isn't it? Yes, we have got CDs. We've got CDs for sale tonight, £7.50. We've got also got badges for a pound. <laughs> or 50p. Yeah. Or, or a tenner, if you like, and get a free CD. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, Yes. Right, okay, so this brings us to the first of the uh, songs we recorded as our prize. Uh, this is about um, this is about sea squirts, which are really weird little sea creatures. A friend of mine's son sent me a link to an article about sea squirts for my birthday, and, I, and uh, they're very, they're very interesting. They're very interesting, you see, because um, <laughs> the, the adult one is much less complicated than the, than the larvae, and they actually digest their own brain because they don't need it anymore, and this is called Eat Your Own Brain. <laughs> Are we ready? <laughs> God forbid I'm out of tune, but I don't care. <laughs> your own brain, that sounds insane, like sea squirts, Ooh. believe me it's true, these four days like in shape too, stuck down parts of the can't be moved, vibrantly coloured, they look angelic, some would say pure psychedelic, eat your own brain, that sounds insane, like sea squirts, Ooh. believe me it's true, absorb water through one siphon, filled to be Relies on how the other filter goes its way. Give it a poke, it'll squirt in your face. Eat your own brain, that's out of time. Like sea squirts, Ooh. believe me, it's true. Hermaphroditic sea squirts are sperm and eggs into the water from floating eggs. The larvae hatch. That poor like, but here's the catch. Larvae swim to the ocean floor, stick to a rock, need their brain no more. Cycle organs through digestion, tail high, cerebral ganglion, don't forget the notochord, all these structures reabsorbed. Eat your own brain, that sounds insane Like 
see squads through. Believe me, it's true. Less complex, the adult is. And then the larvae, it's the biz. Of this process, you know it is. Retrogressive metamorphosis. It's your own brain. That's as inside. Don't see squads through. Believe me, it's true. But if you eat your own brain, you won't be the same. Like sea squirts are, you won't go far. You've only got two songs left. Thank you very much. Two songs. You can stick it out that long. This uh, next one is uh, the other song we uh, recorded with our prize. Anyone here got a Dyson? Crap. <laughs> it's funny you should say that. Because this song is called It's Still a Hoover. I mean, it may be a Dyson, but let's face it, you still hoover with it, don't you? No, you do the vacuum cleaning. No, you do not do vacuum cleaning. You do the hoovering. Because I, when I was off work for four weeks, going mad, uh, furloughed, my wife made me do the hoovering. Yes. I mean, obviously, uh, I would do it at other times, but she, she just beats me to it all the time. But. Be a 
a Dyson. But it's still a Hoover. It's still a Hoover. To me, everybody now may be a Dyson. But it's still a Hoover. Don't give me any of that vacuum cleaner speak. It may be a Dyson. Thank you. If you want to hear that in its uh, recorded form, it's on iTunes and Spotify and all that. Um, because uh, it's not on our CD, which you can buy for £7.50 with a free badge. For free eight badge? For £8. <laughs> so that's £8 for a free CD as long as you buy a badge. You can pay a pound for it if you want. Yeah. You can pay five pounds for a badge if you want. And if you add three to it, you'll get a free CD. 350. How much? How much are they? Is this an, it turned into an auction. <laughs> right, okay, so we're going to play a song about a gentleman. Uh, a gentleman whose uh, surname was Halliday and he was in the forces, so he became known as Doc. Uh, as you would. And he played bagpipes and he had big sideburns and he was a friend of my dad's. And uh, this is called Doc's Tash. Dog's dash was thick and flat, the birds attached from far to back. Society stretched from here to live with a big fat tash attached to it. Thirty years before Wolverine, Dog was never that hard on me. Who knows where Dog is a place, and have his face pubes with their fates. A good few beards were worn back then. Often by the hippest men But Doc Star was of a different class Stan a goatee, he did some pass Doc, where are you In the pipe band, he marched alongside my old man. Check jacket in 71, at the Cayley was the dapperest one. Photos in black and white, the dockies grows it out of sight. Who knows where Doc is a plate and have his face pubes when their fights. A good few bits were worn back then. Often by the hippest men But Doc Star was of a different class Stan and Cody, he did surpass Doc, where are you
in the forces for a while Where he developed his face hairstyle Halliday was his surname In the guards, the name he gained of Doc And it stuck for good As any a good nickname sure Who knows where Doc is a place And have his face pubes met their fate a good few bits were worn back then Often by the hippest men But Doc Star was of a different class Stan and Cody hid in the past Doc, where are you now? Thanks very much, that's us. Thank you very much. Thanks for sticking around. We'll see you again, hopefully.